in love with it when I was maybe four years old. And uh, I remember just like when I was young watching TV and I was always always told my dad or my mom and like I'm gonna I wanna play professional baseball one day and they were like, Well you gotta you gotta have, it's a lot of hard work to get to that stage and I was like, Yeah but I wanna do it. Eighteen years later, Paul Rashan is doing it, finishing the twenty nineteen minor league season with the Detroit Tigers advanced A affiliate, the Lakeland Flying Tigers. This after being acquired from the Chicago Cubs, along with Alex Lang, in exchange for outfielder Nicholas Castellanos. It was just a great first impression with the organization. Um, Jorge Cordova, who was the pitching coach in high A, uh, was immediately working with me on, on things in the bullpen and just catch play in general. He was able to find really minor details in my mechanics that could improve. Which turns out was right up Rashawn's alley. My command is better than my stuff, I would say, and I feel like I have to pitch to get guys out, so I really have to focus on every single pitch. I like to read swings, um, just how the batter reacts in the box, where they are in the box, that's how I'll, I'll attack them. Or obviously when we go over our pregame routine and go over each batter, how we should go about it, you know, early in the count, late in the count, everything like that. A cerebral approach that Paul says he fine-tuned while at the University of San Diego. Nathan Schultz was that pitching coach that came in my sophomore year. And yeah, I was just a, a really competitive guy. It's just who I am. I'm, I'm the youngest of, of three or two older siblings, obviously. If I give up a hit or have a bad inning, it wouldn't end up being a good outing when usually you, can, you have the ability to turn those kind of outings around. That's just what he tried to teach me and just keep a level head throughout the innings and, and attack, attack each situation as they came up. That advice helped play a part in Rashawn fanning 101 batters in his third season with the Toreros while walking just 13. That's a strikeout to walk ratio of over seven and a half. Still, ever the competitor, the 6'2", 200 pounder would like some payback when it comes to the one guy he seemingly could not put away. Keston Hira, uh, he's obviously with the Brewers right now and he's an incredible hitter and uh, I think he, he always had my number in college. We faced him when he was at Irvine, and I just love to have another chance against him. If it doesn't go a certain way, I'll replay it in my head over and over and over again until it does go the right way, and obviously I get the opportunity to, to have it go the right way, and I won't let it go wrong again. I took it to heart to, to get to this point in my life, and you know I don't want it to go to waste, so I just gotta give 100% everything that I do. Something that was reinforced following a trip to the Dominican Republic while a member of the Cubs organization in 2018. They just wanted us to see what that kind of, of life of baseball was and how they did things out there. Um, they took us to a professional game out there as well where the atmosphere is like nothing I've ever seen before. Um, the fans are in it every single pitch. They're cheering, they're screaming, they're yelling. Out there it's like baseball is like it's just what it is. If, if you want to make it in baseball, you have to go 100, 110% on everything. It was like, maybe looking back in, in my past, like maybe I didn't bring that kind of energy in every single game. And from then on, it's, it's like, I've always wanted to be where my feet are and give 100%.